Greetings and welcome to part 3 of the trigonometry series. Today we'll be using trigonometry to find the area of a triangle. The success criteria for today will be for students to be able to find the area of a triangle using the trigo formula half AB sine C and to solve problems using that formula. To get us all on the same page, let us first go through some notations. In geometry, we use capital letters to denote the vertices of a triangle, that would be the corners. We use small letters to denote the length of the edges of the triangle. For the formulas later, we need to be clear about this labeling pattern. Side A is opposite angle A, side B is opposite angle B, and so on. Let's put aside the trigo formula for now and let's go through a work example of how to find the area of a triangle given that site AC equals to 6cm, site BC equals to 11cm, and the angle ACB is 40 degrees. So to find this area, let's go back to our trusty formula half base times height. If we use 11cm for the base, the vertical height would be this red line shown. Unfortunately, the value of this height h is not given in the question. Fortunately, the height cuts out a right-angled triangle shown in green with 40 degrees as the reference angle. The hypotenuse is equal to 6 cm and h is the opposite side for this triangle. This allows us to use the sine ratio, so sine 40 equals to h over 6, so h will be equal to 6 sine 40 degrees. Next, we can substitute h equals to 6 sine 40 degrees and evaluate the area to be 21.2 cm square. But let's just rewind a little bit and reflect on what we just did. To find the area of the triangle, what we did was we took half times 11 times 6 times sine of the angle in between. This we shall now call the included angle. If we were to generalize this, we can replace the 11 cm with A, 6 with B, and 40 degrees we can just call as angle C. Replacing the formula with these new unknowns, we are able to derive the trigonometric formula for the area of triangle to be half times A times B times sine of the included angle. It's important that this angle must be the angle between the two known sides A and B. Let's now try to use this formula to solve some problems. Here is checkpoint 1. I have two shapes here. Try and find their respective areas. Pause the video here to check your own understanding. Let's now go through the answers. For part 1, it's pretty straightforward. We take half times 7 times 8 times sine of the included angle, which is 125 degrees. This gives us a value of 22.9 meters squared. In part 2, we can divide the regular hexagon into six congruent equilateral triangles. Each side of this equilateral triangle is 5 cm long, and the included angle is 60 degrees. So the area of each triangle is half times 5 times 5 times sine of 60 degrees. And since there are 6 triangles in total, this will give us a total area of 65.0 cm squared. Let's move on to checkpoint 2. Let's try to solve another problem involving this trigo area of formulas. Given a triangle ABC such that AB equals to 7 cm, AC equals to 10 cm and the area of the triangle is 24 cm square, find the possible values of angle BAC. Pause the video here and give this question a good try. Let's walk through the solution. We can use the area formula half AB sine C, then we substitute area equals to 24, we'll let a equals to 7 and B equals to 10. The order here doesn't matter. 
This tells us that sine of angle BAC is equal to 24 over 35. We can undo the sine function using the inverse sine function to get 43.3 degrees. Did you get this answer? But wait, is this the only answer? The question hints at possible values, so does the second answer exist? Let's have a look at the actual triangle. The red angle that you see here is our initial answer of 43.3 degrees. Watch what happens as I increase the size of the red angle. You'll see that the area starts to increase, and then as the angle becomes obtuse, it will start to decrease. So, an obtuse answer also exists. To get the obtuse angle answer, you'll take 180 degrees minus our initial answer of 43.3 degrees to give us 136.7 degrees. So there are two answers in total. Now some additional practice can be found in the info section. I'll put a link to the worksheet for extra practice as well as a solution sheet for you to self-check your answers once you are done with the worksheet. Let's once again end off where we began. Let's reflect on whether we've accomplished the success criteria. Are you now able to find the area of the triangle using half AB sine C and to solve associated problems using the formula half AB sine C? We have come to the end of part 3. Stay tuned for part 4 where we'll be introducing the sine rule. Thank you and have a good day of learning.